Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I created this Valentine's inspired look, keeping it neutral on the eyes with a subtle pop of pink on the lips. So I really hope you enjoy. So first of all, I'm gonna prime my lids. I started by using the Benefit Stay Don't Stray Primer, which I mentioned in my high-end must-haves. I love it. And then I'm just taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Couture Palette, and I'm taking the Soft Peach shade, which is just a very nice transition shade to blend all over the lid. Then I'm taking this warm brown transition shade and taking a blending brush and blending it back and forth across the crease and also just right in the inner corner and outer corner of the eye, leaving the center of the eye completely bare. Next going in with a darker warm brown eyeshadow, I'm going to take this on a pencil brush because it's a little bit more detailed and I'm going to just place this right across the crease and also really focusing on the inner and outer corner again leaving the center completely bare. So again we're going to go for that spotlight technique. So just really focus on the inner and outer corner. Now I'm taking my Lorac Pro palette and just taking a gold eyeshadow and just packing this on with a flat eyeshadow brush right on the lid. I wanted the center to be a little bit more bronze so I went in with a pigment from Makeup Geek called Vegas Nights and this is just really going to help make the center of the eye pop. So I just wet my flat eyeshadow brush with a little bit of setting spray and then I just press the pigment onto the lid. You can use this on its own but it just really brings out the pigmentation in the pigments when you wet them with either your Max Fix Plus or just any setting spray that you have laying around. Next, using my Inglot Gel Liner, I just created a very thin line and I just use a flat brush from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. I normally use this on my lower lash line, but I just thought it would make a good eyeliner brush. So I just created a very thin line using this and it is an awesome eyeliner brush. Uh, so then I went in with my Red Cherry number 43 lashes and then I moved on to my face. So I just primed my lids using my Benefits Professional just to fill out any open pores or any fine lines around my nose and cheeks. Then I'm going in with my J Manual Skin Perfecting Foundation. This is a gorgeous matte foundation and it's super pale, which is perfect for me right now because I am as pale as a ghost. Next, I'm going to contour and highlight with creams. I'm using my Blank Canvas Cosmetics contour palette and I have a full tutorial on exactly what I'm doing here in a little bit more detail so I'm going to leave that linked up in the top of the video on the top right hand corner uh, so feel free to check that out as well if you like. Moving on to concealer, I use Urban Decay Naked Skin uh, just for a little bit more coverage under the eye and then just blended it out with the brush, just really packed it into the skin to make sure I get maximum coverage. Now to set everything in place, I need a little bit of powder, so I'm taking my Benefit Hoola Bronzer and I'm just going over this, the areas where I contoured with my creams and then I'm going in with a little bit of blush. This is the NYX Angel Blush, it's just a very pale pink and it just gives a very subtle flush to the cheeks. For highlighter, I'm using Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. Uh, there's no words needed, just look how amazing it is. <laughs> and then moving back up to the eyes, I'm just applying a little bit more of that reddish brown and that dark brown eyeshadow, just sweeping it back and forth until it's completely blended under the eyes. And then I applied a little bit of mascara. Moving on to the lips, I'm using my Primark or my Penny's Lip Liner. This is kind of a, a nudish brown and I'm just really using it to outline my lips uh, because I like to overdraw my lips a little bit so you get a little bit more precision using a lip liner first. Then I'm going in with Tarte Lucky. This is like a baby pink matte lipstick and this is actually what the makeup artist from Pretty Little Liars uses on Hannah. So that's really interesting. So that's pretty much it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a nice weekend. Bye.